Let's talk about a problem so big it makes your Wi-Fi dropping during a Netflix finale look trivial. For decades, the U.S. Department of Defense bought tech from the same handful of legacy contractors. Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, Northrop Grumman, slow, expensive, and outdated before it even arrived. Meanwhile, the world sped up. Adversaries used cheap drones and clever software while the Pentagon was still waiting for a fax. The core issue? Software. The old guard treated it as an afterthought. But the future of defense is written in code, AI, networks, and autonomous systems. The Pentagon needed the agility of a tech startup, but the big players couldn't deliver. This created a massive gap, a military desper desperate for innovation and an industry stuck in the past. Enter the opportunity for, for a disruptor, someone bold enough to flip the script on national security tech. The stage was set for change. The stakes, nothing less than survival on the modern battlefield. The question, who would step up? The answer was coming. Enter Palmer Lucky, the Oculus VR prodigy who sold his headset to Facebook for billions, then set his sights on defense. Instead of retiring, Lucky saw the Pentagon's tech crisis as the ultimate startup challenge. He assembled a dream team from Palantir and SpaceX, people who knew software for it, hardware and government contracts. In 2017, they founded Andrel Industries, named after a legendary sword, to reforge the arsenal of democracy. Their mission, build the future of defense with the speed and ethos of Silicon Valley. Unlike traditional contractors, Andrel used private money to build products first, then showed up with working solutions. If the military wanted it, they could buy it. No decade-long development cycles. This flipped the risk. Andrew moved fast, took the gamble, and delivered speed as their product. In defense, speed is survival. It was a high-stakes bet, disrupt or bust. Andrew wasn't just another contractor. They were rewriting the rules. The game had changed. So, what's Andrew's secret source? It's not just drones, it's Lattice OS, their AI-powered command and control platform. Lattice is the brain, fusing data from every sensor, drones, towers, radars, into a real-time 3D map of the battlefield. It turns chaos into clarity, using AI to identify threats and flag anomalies instantly. Soldiers get actionable intelligence, not information overload. Lattice's open architecture means it works with any hardware, even legacy military gear. The military doesn't have to start from scratch, they can upgrade with software. Lattice is the essential layer, making sense of the modern battlefield. It's the Android of defense, plug in, upgrade and go. Andrew isn't just selling hardware, they're selling a smarter way to fight. The future of defense is software defined and Lattice is leading the charge, that's the real revolution. Lattice needs eyes and ears, so Andrew built them. The sentry tower, a rapid deploy, autonomous surveillance post, scanning and feeding data to Lattice. The ghost drone, a quiet tablet-controlled scout for real-time recon. The anvil, an interceptor drone that smashes enemy drones out of, oh, out of the sky. Simple, brutal, effective. Dive LD, an autonomous underwater ghost shark for long missions mapping and hunting threats below the surface. All these systems work seamlessly through Lattice, giving commanders a unified view from sky to sea. It's a complete intuitive ecosystem, no PhD required. Building this tech isn't cheap, but Andurel's self-funded model attracted billions in venture capital. Investors saw the $800 billion defense budget and a desperate need for innovation. Since 2017, Andurel has raised over $2.3 billion, fueling rapid product development and hiring top talent. This independence let them move fast, while others filled out paperwork Andurel built. The result? Explosive growth. $150 million in revenue in 2022, aiming for $500 million in 2023. They're winning major contracts with the Pentagon, Homeland Security and allies abroad. 
Anduril is growing like a Silicon Valley rocket, not a slow-moving defense giant. The market proved the model. Modern defense tech is a gaping need. Anduril didn't just find a niche. They're filling a crater. The money is following the innovation. To see Anduril's impact, compare their playbook to the old guard. Legacy contractors wait for government specs, spend years bidding, and profit from slow, expensive projects. The system rewards process, not performance. Delays and overruns are the norm. Andrew does this, does, 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 fulfilling contracts. They hire top engineers from tech, not just defense lifers. Anduril isn't playing the old game better. They're playing a new game entirely. It's a clash of cultures. Startup speed versus bureaucratic inertia. The result, a new standard for what's possible in defense. The old guard is on notice. You won't find Trustpilot reviews for missile systems, but look at commercial drone giant DJI. Their tech is praised, but users complain about buggy software and poor support. That's the big company problem. Great hardware, frustrating experience. Andrew's model fixes this. We build hardware and software as one, controlling the whole user experience. Their engineers embed with military units, pushing real-time updates and gathering feedback. The result, a seamless, constantly improving system, not just a product. Anduril sells a partnership, not just a drone. It's, it's software as a service applied to national security. That's a level of support the old guard can't match. What's next for Anduril? Scale and autonomy. Scaling means manufacturing thousands of systems and deploying lattice across entire commands without losing startup speed. The bigger leap, true autonomy. Swarms of drones and robots coordinating via AI, executing missions faster than humans ever could. The vision, a commander gives an order and autonomous systems handle the rest. But with autonomy comes ethical questions. Anduril insists a human always makes lethal decisions. As AI advances, the pressure for more autonomy grows. Navigating this will be a major challenge. Anduril's success is opening doors for other tech startups in defense. They've shown the Pentagon is hungry for innovation. This could spark renaissance in defense tech. Faster cycles, better tools, more competition. Anduril isn't just building products. They're building um, a new blueprint for the industry. The Anduril story is about more than drones and contracts. It's a masterclass in disruption. They saw a life or death problem and built a solution without waiting for permission. For entrepreneurs, this is the playbook. Find a big broken industry, spot the gaps and build. Don't be intimidated by the giants. Opportunity hides in their blind spots. Bet on your ability to build. Don't wait for a check. Make a prototype. Show what's possible. In a world of talkers, be a builder. A working product changes everything. So, what's your Anduril? The world is full of big problems waiting for bold solutions. The tools and capital are out there. The missing ingredient is your audacity. If this story fired you up, hit subscribe. We're, uh, we're just getting started.